What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang. Today, we're gonna be learning how to edit the text layer in depth. Now, again, you wanna watch these videos over there first. Follow that playlist and make sure you're watching these videos in sequential order. All right, let's get into the video. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So, consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you first what we're learning and then we'll do it. Here's what we're learning. And the next lesson is actually, if you look up there, you're gonna see, the, see that color change right there. So that's the next thing is, all right, so this is what I did. What I did first was I click on the inspector. The inspector is where you're gonna change all your settings for your text. And then from previous lessons, you should know to go to effects and then you go to titles and then you just drag like any basic title. Okay, so like I'm just gonna keep this really basic by dragging this text right here over on top like that, okay? So when you look at this, you can't see anything because it actually says text right here. So when you double click into this, you can see that you double click into that. So right now the color is white. So what I wanna do here is I wanna change the color to black so that I can see the text. So click on that right there for the color and then i'm going to use the most basic colors like these here you can pick all kinds of pretty colors here but i like to use these to keep it simple click ok and see how the text is now black okay now how do i get the text uh, to be a different font so go right here click on font just pick whatever you want there it goes that's a different font you want to make it bold you can click on there if you want to change the size of the font you do this. If you want to change the tracking, which means the distance between each letter, you can do that. You can change the line spacing. Like let's say there was another line, line two. So what I can do here, here is I can space between the lines like that. So you guys can play around with all this stuff right here. It's pretty basic because this is pretty much editing like a Word document, except for the tracking and line. But what I wanna get into now is I wanna make sure this is centered, okay? And I'm gonna make the size smaller and closer together again. So the line is too close now and it's small. So now I'm going to drag the scale and uh, this position, okay? So if I drag to the left here, the line's gonna go to the left. If I drag to the right, my click and hold and drag. And then I'm going to use the Y value, just like what you use in uh, mathematics, right? The, X comma Y. So this is going to move up and down. So you can click and then drag up and down, left and right, and then you can see how it's going to move up and down. So I put it right there so that I can see. So that is how you change the font, the size, the spacing, and the location of where are you placing your text using the X and Y coordinate for position. And then of course you can also rotate the text if you want right there. And then now I'm gonna get into the drop shadows. Okay, I'm going to drop shadow like a uh, blue. So I'm gonna pick blue as my color. Actually, you know, drop shadow green. I know it's not gonna look pretty, but I'm just gonna drop shadow. You see nothing right now, but what you do is you offset the X and Y coordinate. That's why it's so important for you to, to learn the ordered pair because look, I can drop shadow and you can see I'm moving it just like when I move my X and Y position of the text. And then I can blur this even more if I want or less. Less blur is super sharp. More blur is, you can see less of it. And then uh, opacity is changing how much of it you can see. We're gonna go into opacity a whole lot more later. And then you can go into strokes and strokes is what goes around on the outside of the text. So let's say I want my stroke to be red. Right now you see nothing around the text, but if I change the size, you see the red strokes coming out and making the red outline around the black text. And then I can go to background and change the color of the background to let's say blue. So let's say the background is like light blue, like this one right here, click okay. You don't see anything yet, but once you start changing the height, watch this. See how there's a height? And then you can change the width to close it together like that. I mean, you can play with all this stuff and kind of get an understanding of what's going on. But that is basically it to edit the text. You just 
type it in here, mess around with all these parameters and just have fun with it really. Just explore. And then uh, you can create something pretty to look at or just, you know, really ugly and sad. And then you just start all over again. Command Z. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go back to Mr. Hang on the nice fancy camera to end this video. All right. So I hope you guys learned something new. And don't forget, if you learned something new, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with people who can learn how to do something cool like this. And then don't forget to do what a... Uh... Yeah, do that. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to say goodbye now. But before I say goodbye, don't forget that if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'm all about the learning and the teaching. And again, make sure you follow the playlist from earlier because it's going to make it so much easier to learn from me. And before I forget, anything that I use to make this stuff, it's all linked in the descriptions down below. Feel free to buy through the links from Amazon and support my classroom because equipment break all the time. And we also want to buy equipment for the students to use so that they can learn and get out there and be working professionals. And now I'm going to be able to say goodbye with all that said. <laughs> get your hands ready. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.